Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the measure of an arc that's created by a tangent line and a secant line. Uh, before we get to that, uh, let's go over what a tangent and a secant is. So tangent, uh, not uh, opposite over adjacent, um, but for circles, a tangent is a line. So here's my perfect looking circle, and a tangent is a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point. So this is a tangent. And this right here, well, well I guess right here, uh, where the line, the tangent line, intersects the circle or touches the circle is called the point of tangency. Okay, and another uh, word is uh, this right here. So here's this right here. This line is called a secant line. A secant line is a line that uh, intersects or goes through the circle twice. So a tangent and a secant. So what we're going to be dealing with are problems that are created by a tangent line and a secant line. So things of this nature. So uh, that's a, this is a tangent, intersects the circle once. This is a secant, intersects the circle twice. And next thing that we have to know, and the big thing about this is that, well, a line, just your regular old line is how many degrees? Well, it's 180 degrees, okay, as in a straight angle. And a circle is how many degrees? Yeah, you guessed it, 360 degrees. Look at this ratio. Uh, so that means that the ratio uh, from a line to a circle is uh, two to one. That means this the measurements of the circle is twice as long as, or twice as much as the measurements of a line or the measurements of a line are half the measure of the circle. So twice uh, when we're going from line to circle or half when we're going from circle to line. So remember that. So two to one, one to two. So let's look at this right here. It says find the measure of the indicated arc. Uh, so the arc right here in question is this arc right here. And we have one piece of information, which is that this angle right here is 35 degrees. Uh, so we have two ways of doing this. Uh, but before we do this, just remember again, a line, this tangent line and the secant line, Okay, the secant will go all the way through the circle twice. This tangent only touches the circle once right here at point R, which is the point of tangency. So uh, remember that a line is half the measure of a circle. A line is 180 degrees and a circle all the way around is 360 degrees. So anything a line makes is half of anything that the circle makes. So. Um, we want to find this arc right here so we can do two things. This angle is 35 degrees, so uh, so we could see that the secant uh, splits this, this line uh, right here to make the 35 degrees, and this angle right here and this angle right here are supplementary. So if this entire angle is 35 degrees and they're supplementary 180 minus 35 is, let's use our trusty old calculator, 180 minus 35 is 145 degrees. So that means that this angle is 145 degrees, but we're trying to figure out what this arc is and I'm highlighting this angle right here because this angle is intercepting this arc right here or this angle is if this was a mouth it would be eating this arc so these two uh, correspond to each other so 
This angle is 145 created by a line and this arc is twice as much because remember the circle measures are twice as much as the line measures. So 145, what we're going to do is multiply that by two and we'll get 290. So that means that this arc is 290 degrees. Another way to do this is, well, we know that this angle is 35 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. And this angle is eating or intersecting this arc right here. Because this is the angle and the angles are half the measure of the arcs and the arcs are twice as much. So we're going to, to multiply this, this 35. Ooh. Yeah, so let's zoom back out so we can see everything. So this angle is 35 degrees. So we'll just multiply that by two. That means that this arc is 70 degrees. And to figure out what this arc is, we know an entire circle is 360. So we'll just subtract 360 minus 70, which is 290. And we'll get the exact same answer. So just remember that the angle is half the measure of the arc that it's intersecting or it's eating, okay? So we had two ways of doing this. Let me show you a different example just for this to, uh, just to stick into your brains. So this one, it says, find the measure of the indicated angle. We have the arc right here. And this arc is being eaten by this angle. And the angles are half the measure of the arcs that they're intercepting. So we're just going to take 240 divided by 2. And it is 120 degrees. But we're trying to find this angle right here because that's where the question mark is pointing. Uh, and we know that these angles are supplementary. So 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees. An alternate way of doing this is uh, using this arc right here. And we know that an entire circle is 360 degrees. So we'll try to, we'll find this arc. We'll not just try, but we will find this arc. Okay, so this entire arc, uh, 360 minus 240 is 120 degrees. And this angle is eating this arc. Half of 120 degrees is again 60 degrees. So both ways get the exact same answer. So if you want to make sure that you got the correct answer, do both ways. Let's show you another example uh, that's just a little more advanced. Um, so this one, let's find X. Uh, we have the angle measure, which is 66, and its intercepted arc, which is 17X minus 4. We have two options. Because we know that this angle is half, uh, we can double this to set it equal to this, or... We know that this is twice as much as this angle, so we could cut this in half, divide this by 2, and set it equal to 66. I really don't want to divide this by 2 because if I divide that 17, we'll get a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this angle. Okay, so 66 times 2, and now set it equal to this arc, which is equal to 17x minus 4. And then we'll do some algebra. So let's get our calculator. 2 times 66 is 132. Is equal to 17x minus 4. We'll add 4 to both sides. 132 plus 4 is 136. Is equal to 17 times x. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we'll divide both sides by 17. And so 136 divided by 17 is 8. So 8. So x equals 8. That's our final answer for that.
is eight. All right, and one last example. Okay, so we have this angle right here uh, that's eating this arc. Uh, but we don't have the information for this arc. We have the information for this arc right here. But we do know one thing. We know that this arc is twice as much as its angle. So what we're going to do is to figure out what this arc, to give us some information about this arc, let's double this. So 2 times 10 plus 5x. And we'll distribute that here and here. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 5x is 10x. So we know that this arc is 20 plus 10x. And we have this 31 plus 12x. And as we go around the circle, let's remember that a circle is 360 degrees. So let's just take this 20 plus 10x. And we're going to add it to this 31x plus 12. And we know that this arc plus this arc make the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. And now let's just combine like terms. 20 plus 12 is 32. 31x plus 10x is 41x is equal to 360. And let's subtract this 32 to both sides. And 360 minus 32 is 328 is equal to 41x. And this 41 is multiplying the x, so opposite of multiplication is division. Let's take our trusty old calculator and divide it by 41. Eh, and then it's a whole number, 8. So x is equal to 8. And there is our final answer. So that's how you find the angle measures and the arc measures uh, when you're given a tangent line, a line that touches the circle once, and a secant line that goes through the circle twice. Uh, hope this helps and have a great day.